a welcome step taken by the government of India. This new education policy is a dire need of time. It will make us imbibe the totality of life and balance between the global progress and indigenous needs. It might demolish the state of dilemma of intellectuals, keeping them ahead of innovative zeal. So as a student, you must know the usefulness of this new education policy. Here, Pooja Avasti is going to talk about some of the key points and benefits of this policy. So, dear friends, we will start from pre-nursery to graduation, post-graduation and then research. Now, starting from the school level, the 10 plus 2 education system, which we were pursuing yet, has been removed. And in place of that, the new criteria is introduced, that is of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4. In this, the starting five classes from pre-nursery to class 2, the load of the subjects for the students will be really less. In next three years, from class 3rd to class 5, the students will be taught for their future. The subjects like physics, maths and social sciences will be introduced. After that, in next three years, from class 6 to class 8, there is a surprise for you. So if you have a dream of becoming a mobile application developer, you have to start its training from the graduation level. But now, in this new education policy, the coding techniques will be taught from class 6 onwards. So yes, you have the liberty to gain the practical knowledge and work on the project stream. Now, in last 4 years, that is from class 9th to class 12, there will be a semester system. In one year, there will be two semesters and the marks of both the semesters will be added as a result. Most importantly, nowadays, we follow the stream system like science, commerce and arts. But in this new education policy, there will be no stream system, which means that any student can pursue any of the subjects as per their choice. Yes, you can choose music with science, history with commerce, now moving towards the college level. So yes, much more flexibilities have been added for the students. If a student completes the first year of graduation, he will be awarded with a certificate. If the student completes starting two years of graduation, he will be awarded with a diploma. And if the student completes all the starting three years, he will be awarded with a bachelor's degree. Now, PhD would be a different program like we have today. And PG is also there. So one can go for the PhD after the PG and also they can have the another option for the PhD which is just after the four years. That is the liberal bachelor's degree and by which the student can save one year. The bachelor's degree is now having two options, the third year and the fourth year. The third year program will be like BC, what we have today. And the fourth year program would be like BLE, the bachelor's of liberal education just similar like bachelor's of liberal computer application. So one more feature of this policy is that it has a multi-level entry and multi-level exit facility, which means that the student can study one or two year. They can take the certificate or diploma and can take a break. And then again, they can join to complete their degree. Now, another benefit is that UGC, AICTE and NCTE will be merged in one single education regulatory body that is HECI, the Higher Education Commission of India. The most important part of this policy is that government want to focus on the holistic development of the students at every level. The students should not force for the road learning. They will be focused more for the practical exposure. So we must know that the approach would be of great significance. And I really hope that this policy will fulfill all the current needs of the society and industries.